Hey, what's up guys? My name is Activator. I'm a Twitch streamer over at twitch.tv slash activator and today I'm here to show you guys something kind of cool. I'm talking about the Twitch panels coming in from MoveGraph. Now, much like the other overlays and graphics coming in from MoveGraph, these panels are here to really boost your stream. So we're going to jump right on in. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit, customize, and set up your Twitch panels to take your streams to the next level. So today, we're going to be looking at the brand new Twitch panel, Exter. Now these come in a wide variety of colors, so make sure to choose the one that best suits your needs. So when you get your folder downloaded, it's going to come in a zip file. That zip file is going to need to be extracted. So you just right click on it and hit extract all. Once you hit enter, you're going to get a brand new folder up here and that's going to contain everything you need to start working with these panels. So when you first open up your folder, you're going to get four items on the inside. And over here, you got your panels inside the panels. You have all the panels that are pre-made and laid out for you guys. So you can just drop them right into your Twitch channels. Now we also have a resources folder and inside this resources folder comes a font folder. Now this font is going to be used for you to edit your panels however you see fit. Just like we did with our original file, you'll need to right click on that and hit extract all. You hit enter and it'll open up another folder in here. If you double click on that, you're going to have all your fonts inside of that folder. So we're going to go ahead and double click on Kenny Future Nero. And if I click on that, you can see what exactly we're working with here. And on the top left, you can see we have a little install button. So once you click that install button, it's going to install that font for you automatically done just like that. And we're going to come down to our next one and also install a more square version. So we hit the install button. Now we're all installed. We can exit out of this and take it back. So also in the resources folder, you have move graph icons. And if you double click on that, you can see exactly what you get. And that's to really customize your panels to how you want. Back inside the main folder, we also have a creating custom panels.pdf. And that PDF is going to show you everything you need to get these panels set up. So to dive right in and edit these panels, you're going to need to go into the PSD for text. And when you double click on that, you're going to get a .psd file. So this is the file you're going to need to open in order to start editing your new panels. So to get this open up, I'm just going to double click on this PSD. Now, when you first open this up in Photoshop, it may look a little overwhelming, but don't be discouraged. It's actually quite simple. Down here in the bottom right, you can see we have a bunch of different texts as well as different assets that we can utilize here. So I'm going to start off by zooming in a little bit just so I can see a little bit better here. And you can either type Z on your keyboard or you can just click on the little magnifying glass. And now you can just start to click and zoom in on your text that you were editing. So this is what we're working with right here. And again, once you export this, it's going to look fantastic. So now you can see that there's some checkerboards behind this and that's because there's transparency attached to this file. So that allows you when you put it into your Twitch channel, you're actually going to get the background image of your Twitch channel behind the panel itself. Over here on the far right hand side, you can see we have a bunch of options down here and each one of these is going to be labeled something different as in YouTube, Twitter, subscribe. At the very bottom, you're going to have your own customizable text. But we'll get to that in just a second. So right off the bat, if I uncheck the text icon, I can scroll back up and I can start to look at the different various ones that are already offered to me. So I can click on this one. I could uncheck that. I can look at what Facebook looks like. I can uncheck that one. I can go to Instagram. And these ones are already pre-made for you, but you don't have to use those. At the bottom here, you can see we have the little text and it says double click to edit. So you want to make sure you click on this little T and you double click on it. So when I double click on that, you're going to see that the text gets highlighted and now I'm able to type in anything I want, such as start. So maybe I, I just want to have the word start there as my panel and maybe that's all I need and I can just go ahead and start to save it. So now you can start to customize and start to implement what you want to see. Let's say I don't want this text to be white though. So if I want to just go ahead and double click on the word start and then come up to window, come down to character, we get a separate window right here that we can start to edit our text with. All you got to do is come over here to the color icon and maybe change it to the color of your choice. I'm going to go with blue for right now. We're just going to take a look at how that looks. So once you click it, it may still be highlighted and then you just unclick. So I'm thinking blue looks kind of decent here. I'm going to hit Z and I'm going to hold alt. I'm going to click and make this down to 100% size. And I'm looking at this, but I'm feeling like white maybe looked a little bit better for me. So I'm going to zoom back in by double clicking on the zoom. And then we're going to come back into our text edit. Now to edit this text a second way is you just come up to the little text icon right here. And then you come over to the word start and you would double click on it and now type in whatever you want or come up to the top again and change the color to your choice. I'm going to go with white again. So we're going to choose white and I'm thinking that looks pretty good to me. So I'm liking how this is looking already, but maybe I want to change this little icon right here. It's like a little man right now, but maybe I want that to look like something different. Now they offer a bunch of those icons that we showed earlier. And if you just come down to the bottom right again, you can see the icons are sitting inside of a folder. If I open up that folder and drag it down, you can see all these different icons that you have at your disposal. So I can uncheck the about me icon. You can see the little guy went away. And if I come up here to maybe loots, you can see now we got a little loot icon, or maybe we can go to a cheer icon, or maybe we can go to the donate icon. 
And for this one, I'm going to go with the subscribe icon. I kind of like how that looks. So now I'm going to close out of this little folder right here and we're going to scroll up and also do the same for the text icon. So if you really want to get involved and start to duplicate layers or start to create anything new, you also have the option of seeing what they have made for you, which is control J to duplicate a layer, or you can also hit the save. And so uh, to press save, you hold control, shift, alt, and S. So I'm going to uncheck this and we're going to hold control, alt, shift, and S. And now that will get into our next bit, which is how to save our brand new panel. And alternatively, you can also hit file, come down to export, and you can click on save for web. And when you click on that, it's going to open up this window. And this window is what you're going to choose to export your file with. So all you need to do is make sure you're on the PNG 24 preset, and then you're just going to go ahead and save this to your desktop. So I'm going to hit save. And it's going to tell, it's going to ask me where we want to save to. So I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to call this start underscore panel. I'm going to hit save. And so now when I minimize Photoshop, you can see on the top left here, we have our brand new panel. And so I can just go ahead and zoom on in if I want to. And uh, you can see it's looking pretty good. So now we can start to implement this inside of Twitch. So now that we have our own panel, as well as an assortment of ones that came with this pack, we can start to implement these onto Twitch very easily. So I've opened up my Twitch channel here. And as you can see, it is empty. Uh, and if I scroll down, you can actually see that there's no panels or anything down below, but you do see a little tiny edit panels icon. And when you click on the edit panels icon, you're actually going to get a drop down menu that comes in the form of a giant plus sign. So when you click that plus sign, this is where you get to add a panel and you have the option of choosing an extension panel or an add a text or image panel. And you're going to want the image panel because we just created an image. So I'm going to go ahead and create the image. You're going to see that we have a uh, panel title an add image button an image links to and description. So all you got to do is click on the add image button and simply find your original file. Mine is this start panel. I'm going to just drag it right on top. And when I do that, you can see it's already ready to go. Now I could sit here and try to customize this a little bit more, make it a little bit thinner, but I'm going to use the full image size because I like how it looks. So when I hit done, now we have our panel ready to go. Now we can title it or we can link it to something or have nothing at all. So I'm going to hit submit. When I hit submit, it has now been submitted. And when you come back up to the top here to the edit panel section, you click that button again. And now you have your panel set in place. If you want to further edit this, you just click on the edit panels again, come over here, maybe add a title, start. You also have the option to link it somewhere. So if I wanted to, I could link it to right into the move graph website. So coming down here to the description, we can always type in click here to boost your stream with move graph. So I'm going to hit submit. And then again, we're going to close out of the editing panels. And now that I did that, you can see exactly what we're working with here. So our title, we have it as start. Our image has a link on it. You can see the little finger comes up there as well as uh, it says click here to boost your stream with move graph. So when I click on that, it's going to bring me right over to move graph. So this video taught you guys how to open up your folders, install the fonts, check everything out on the inside of that folder, as well as editing those Photoshop files and installing your panels to your Twitch channel. If you guys ever have any questions or comments, feel free to comment down below or drop off your Twitch channel so we can come check out your brand new panels and how they look. Check out MoveGraph for more Twitch panels, overlays, graphics, and everything you need to boost your stream. I appreciate you guys watching. Happy streaming. Stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, bye.